There was a little girl. She had a little curl. Snip by Harriet Ziefert. Pictures by Elliot Kreloff. There was a little girl, and she had a little curl right in the middle of her forehead. When she was good, she was very, very good. And when she was bad, she was horrid. Isabel was her name. Isabel lived with her mother, her father, her dog Oliver, and her cat Lulu. One Saturday morning, Isabel woke up and said, I'm going to be very, very good today. She did not disturb her parents. She did not turn on the television. Isabel got dressed and went to the kitchen. She moved the cat. She prepared a bowl of cereal for herself and ate it all up. And she did not use her sleeves as a napkin, not even once. Then she let the dog out. After breakfast, Isabel decided to play dress up. When she heard her mother say, Isabel, it's time to go shopping for sneakers. She went downstairs right away. Isabel was good, very good. She didn't complain when her mother said that the white sneakers would get too dirty, or that the sneakers with blinking lights didn't fit well, or that the pink ones with jewels were too fancy. She agreed that the plain blue ones were the best and happily wore them home. Good choice! Isabel was proud of her new shoes. She wanted to show them to Lulu and Oliver, but she didn't know where they were. So she went to her mom's room to see if they were hiding under the dressing table. Isabel sat in her mom's chair. She put on lipstick and rouge and powder and even eyeshadow. She tried to polish her nails, but it was hard to keep from painting her fingers, so she stopped. Then Isabel tried to fix her hair. She struggled with the comb and the brush, and it hurt. She wished she didn't have so much hair. Isabel decided to give herself a haircut. She began with the curl in the middle of her forehead. Snip! Then she cut another curl. Snip! Snip! And another. And another. Snip! And still another curl. Snip! She heard her mother calling. Isabel, you're so quiet. Where are you? Upstairs! Come downstairs, please. I need to talk to you. Isabel quickly wiped her face with her sleeve and went downstairs. Isabel, what happened to your hair? I didn't mean to cut it. It was an accident. Then Isabel began to cry. I look horrid. I don't want Daddy to see me. I can't make your hair look any better, but if you stop crying, we can go to the beauty shop and see if someone there can repair the damage. Isabel got a haircut. Snip, snip. At dinner that night, Isabel thought her daddy would notice her haircut and be angry. But he wasn't. He just asked, What did you do today while I was at work? Isabel said, I played dress up with Oliver. I ate everything on my plate, even the beets. I got new blue sneakers and I got a haircut. Isabel, I like your short hair. Isabel's mommy didn't say a word. I am a little girl and I had a little curl right in the middle of my forehead. When I am good, I am very, very good. And when I am bad, I am horrid. Good night, Isabel.